How can you use numbers in your presentations to make them more enticing and entertaining for your audience? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A big challenge for many presenters is presenting data, information, statistics in a way that doesn't bore the audience. How can you do this to make it more attractive so that people want to hear what you have to say? Turn your data into stories. When I was a financial planner, we talked a lot about retirement planning, a big part of financial planning, obviously. A statistic we often quoted was 96% of Americans will reach retirement age and be unable to stop working. Big number, right? The problem is most people couldn't relate to it. What does that really mean? What we did instead is we told a story of a hypothetical couple, George and Ellen Jones. George had worked a white collar job for 30 years, had saved money. Ellen had worked part time after their kids had grown up and gone off and lived their lives. But when they reached age 65, they couldn't afford to retire on the lifestyle they wanted. We talked about the depression that they went through and and the frustration that they'd worked so hard. We talked about strategies that we put in place so that George and Ellen could retire in a way that allowed them to do the traveling they want, visit their kids, and not feel like they had to stay at home all the time and watch TV and watch Jeopardy and whatever TV program was popular at the time. By personalizing the story, by talking about their frustrations and the the, the fear that they had that they were going to lose out on their dreams of that great retirement... We made it more personal. We helped other prospective clients feel their pain, relate to that pain, and it made the statistic of 96% of all Americans much more real and emotional for our prospective clients. If you have to use numbers in your presentation, ask yourself, what kind of personal story can I tell, either from your life or someone you know who was negatively affected by those numbers and who had a positive outcome because of some actions they took? Do that, and your numbers will no longer leave people glazed over, starry-eyed, wishing that they were anywhere but in your presentation. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.